Hi, I'm Eric and I run Huga. Before we get into the Q&A, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a couple channel updates. So first and foremost, the channel has not only hit the 1K milestone, it has surpassed it. Currently at the time of making this video, the channel is about to surpass 5,000 subscribers. I'm absolutely humbled by the way this channel has been growing. I originally just started this as a hobby, so having an audience is always nice. And I just wanted to thank you guys for engaging and supporting the channel. But to celebrate the 1K, I wanted to do a giveaway. I reached out to Ask It, and Ask It was nice enough to extend a discount to me to help me purchase two shirts to give away to you guys. So if you're interested in the Ask It giveaway, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter. Next, I wanna talk about sponsored content. Some of you have expressed concerns with sponsorships, and yes, I do plan on working with sponsors in the near future. I do think that sponsors can benefit the channel, and if done correctly, they can be done in a way such that content maintains its integrity and it's still genuine. That being said, if you still have concerns, uh, my number one priority for this channel always will be integrity. So if you wanna ask any type of question relating to sponsored content, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll happily address those concerns. So that's it for the channel updates. Let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. Uh, for this Q&A, I went ahead and asked people on Instagram for questions. Uh, YouTube doesn't allow me to send out public notifications until I hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you want to stay up to date with the channel, go ahead and follow Huga on Instagram. All right, so the first question is, why did you start? So I started YouTube because I simply just wanted to use my camera more. Uh, I've always been into photography and I wanted to get more into videography. So I thought YouTube would be a great way to kind of practice videography and, and experiment with it. What did you go to school for and what are you doing for a living? So this is probably one of the questions I get asked the most. I went to school to be an electrical engineer and I currently work as an electrical engineer in the Silicon Valley. What is your inspiration to make videos? Uh, the inspiration simply comes from questions that I've asked myself and I thought other people might, might want to know the answer to. Favorite social media platform? So favorite social media platform is probably going to be YouTube. Again, it's something new. I'm really loving videography and currently this is the social media platform that's taking up a majority of my time. Uh, speaking of time, how do you find time for Instagram and YouTube? I work a full-time job, so I have to plan uh, very aggressively. No minute gets wasted. I wake up early before work to capture content. I'll edit photos on my lunch break. And then when I get home from work, I'll edit video. So, you know, not a lot of time, but I try and make the most out of it. Favorite cologne. Uh, my favorite cologne is currently Le Labo Santal 33. Where are you from? I'm originally from Southern California. I grew up in San Diego, California, and I currently reside in San Jose, California. Are you following the NBA playoffs? Who are you going for? Uh, yes, I'm following the playoffs. In fact, I recently just upgraded my internet so I could stream games better. Who I'm going for, my team is the Lakers growing up from Southern California, but you know I think the Warriors are probably gonna take it again this year. Thoughts on Scandinavian brands like Acme Studios, Halsweiler, and Norse Projects. Um, I don't have much experience with Halsweiler. Uh, I like Acme Studios, but I'm a big fan of Norse Projects. Norse Projects was probably my first introduction into the whole minimalist Scandinavian closet space. I think they make great outerwear, great knits, high quality. If you haven't tried them, I definitely recommend trying them out. How did you get into the minimal lifestyle? How are you living before? So for me, it all started with the Oxford button down. I really wanted a better shirt for work and that kind of opened my eyes to, you know, better produced products from clothing to furniture to to watches to everything and that really got me into this lifestyle of living with less but also living better before that i kind of just bought clothes wouldn't use them end up donating them that felt wasteful so i eventually wanted to do better and that's how i kind of got into the minimal lifestyle i understand you want to live intentionally slower and a more deliberate life but can this always be achieved uh, no unfortunately this can't always be achieved life and responsibility is always going to get in the way of this but that just means that when you do find time, you should take full advantage of it. For me, I know that if I finally get like a lazy day, I'll wake up early and stay out late and make the most out of that day. What is some of your favorite music at the moment? Currently, I really like this coffee house playlist on Spotify. It's just a calm, soothing playlist to kind of wake up to. Uh, if you're interested, I'll link it in the description box below. 
All right, so the last question is, when you wake up in the morning, what do you tell yourself to motivate yourself for the rest of the day? So for me, I really like to plan my day out into small goals. I think small goals that are manageable and that you're able to complete really help maintain an overall high morale throughout the day and in turn keep you motivated for the rest of the day. So if you're struggling to find motivation, I highly recommend to try and break stuff down into smaller segments. I think you'll find it's more manageable and easier to stay motivated throughout the day. So that's the end of the Q&A. Thank you to everyone that submitted a question. Moving on to the giveaway. To be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment. Um, the comment can be anything. You can introduce yourself or maybe even leave a video suggestion. As long as you leave a comment, you're gonna be entered. Thanks again to everyone for the support. I really appreciate it and I look forward to making more content for you guys. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.